Hello. Hi. Are we at the She seemed quite pleased with herself. Yeah. Oh, you beat me. Pardon? You beat me. Yeah. I'm not far behind. Go straight on at the roundabout. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, no, a little nod. Yeah, I got a little nod. There's the pedestrians in the road. Oh, yeah. Um, I can't. Straight on at this roundabout. <laughs> oh, it's a fellow learner. Yeah. You're going towards Coventry, so third exit, Coventry, straight on. Spent it time to do observations around here as well. Yeah. Cost blowing around about. Very good. Yeah. Wonderful. That was. I could see something, but. And it was me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see, that's why the log tables are good. Uh, I still need to remember that I'm over the 717 miles now. Still waiting for the service, so I still can't go over the 6,000 RPM. Is that what you're up to? I was I was it up at eight a moment ago <laughs> because I I'd revved it too high. It pulls, it wants to go faster. Yeah, absolutely. Easily done. Where am I going now? Um uh, that's a good question. Uh go towards Churchill straight on. Second exit. Second. Yes, yes. This, this one, one here. This one here, this one. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, there's lean around, don't break. I, I am. It's really good, nice, nice corner. I'm oh, just trying to shut the power off because I was accelerating. <laughs> yeah, so the, uh, the signal is basically going, when you're speaking into your intercom, it's yeah. going into my intercom, but via the one that's in my pocket, uh -huh. which captures all the audio and puts it into the camera. Yeah. Because you've got that third audio system, that third center, yep. the quality distinctively goes down. Yeah, it's a bit distorted. And that's why when we have a bit of a gap between us, it yeah. becomes more distorted. Okay. Whereas if we didn't have that third center on, like we did earlier, we didn't connect it to the camera. Yes. Yeah. He was able to go a further distance, but without the uh, the crackling. Yeah. So as long as we stay together, I think the audio for the camera will be um, oh cheeky. Um, the audio for the camera, I think, will be uh, better. Yeah. So we're just heading out now to Elf Church. We're gonna get some chips, fish and chips. I think I'll have. I, don't know, I think I might have pine chips. What you gonna have? What are you gonna have? Um. Uh I will make my decision whilst I'm there because I've not been to this fish and chip shop, so okay. it will either be fish and chips or it will be sausage and chips. And we'll um, See. give this a rating. Okay. I like the idea of going around different chip shops and giving them rating, but... I'll be too fat to get on the bike to do that. I'll be right back in if I did that. We both need bigger bikes. We both would um, put our belly. I haven't been to this chip shop. Since you know, I think I was about 13, 14. Okay. Which is quite a long time ago. Quite a few moons ago. Yeah. So, I mean, it was good then. It might be now. Yeah, it might but it, be. But it might be amazing. So, yeah. uh, well, we'll see, won't we? We will see when we get there. You can't remember if I was seating inside. I just remember we used to live in, in Mosley in Birmingham. Yeah. And for us, it was a real treat when, when uh, Mum and Dad used to take us out to a chip shop in the countryside. Yeah. And uh, we'd go to Alf Church and we'd, we'd have these chips and we were like, oh, God, these are amazing, well worth the drive. Yeah. 
Yeah. But uh, I'm sure that I'm sure they're not that good now. But we'll see. But yeah. uh, it's a ride out, and it's a little, yeah, little try. Oh, so just keep it straight on at every roundabout you get to, and it's okay to do otherwise. Okay, okay. Use these as practice. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, go to the right. Go 84023. Uh, Redditch Town Centre. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. One. Oh, we have gone the long way around. I know, I know where I am there. Two. Third exit, did you say? Uh, four things, actually. Not this one. Not this one. Okay. Well, this one you're coming on to now. So we're coming off at the next junction, I think, uh, towards the hospital. Bear with me, I'll have to get my bearings if we get closer. Yeah, not not this one, not this one. Okay, not this one, though. No. Uh, not this one. Okay, okay. This is a bit of an exploration. I'm not, I'm not uh, completely okay with the reddish. I know my way around properly, but I'm not perfect. I'm sure people that watch this will be able to say, oh, God, that's easy. You go up there, you go up there, and you're there. Oh, well. I'm just trying to pick my way to Alp Church. It gives me extra practice. Going the longer way around. I'm going ahead towards um, the leisure centre, you know, Alexandra Stadium. Not to be confused with the Alexandra Stadium. Uh, no, I don't know. I'll show you. Good plan. I did exactly the same. Okay, so you're going to come off at this junction, and at the roundabout, we're going to turn right. So come off at this junction, at the third exit, which is right. I know where I am now. Are you sure you know where you are? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Oh, I can't see a bloody thing. Yeah, just be careful because you're approaching a roundabout. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. Third exit, did you say? Third exit, so not this one, not the next one, but the one after. So keep turning right. I am. Um, struggling with the phone. Oh, you recognise where you are shortly. This one, this is good. So straight on these lights, you come to a roundabout. You want the right hand lane as you enter the roundabout, even though we're going straight on. I'm actually going to go after this mini. I want to get into the lane nice and early. I'm going to across. There's a car. So, follow the signs to A448 or A441. Third exit, then. Third exit, yeah. yeah A4, but you need the right hand lane. You see the yeah, indication yeah. there, it tells you. A lot of people forget and they go in the left hand lane and then realise that they wanted to go straight on. Because usually, uh -huh. left hand lane, quite often, is straight on. Not on this occasion. No. That's why the song has given you that clue. Right. One. Brilliant. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Great. It's nice with the sun. It almost feels like we're getting close to spring. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the leisure centre on your right hand side. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they were doing the COVID testing there. Yeah. Back in COVID yeah. time. Uh, Abbey Stadium. Uh, like a, a cheap version of the Alex. Am I just going right? Yeah, follow the signs to A441. You'll notice the other two exits are dead ends anyway. Okay. Thank you, children. Brought some flowers. And then uh, keep straight on. Eight four four one. Eight four four one. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Four one. Yeah. Let's go. Let's see how. 
Oh. I'm looking forward to going out on the bike with Andrew. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to record any of it. <laughs> no, you stopped already. <laughs> There's lots of beats all throughout. Lots of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it'll be good. I think we're still going, aren't we? So, um, bank holiday weekend. What day is it? Uh, I'm not sure. What, end of March, I think. Yeah, I mean, so long as he's okay with going slow. Yeah, because I won't be able to go quick. Exactly. So I just say that we're going here, we're going slow. If you want to come, great. Yeah. Um, so you'll come to a roundabout shortly. Mm -hmm. You're going to take the first exit, which is straight on. Oh. Well, I'm saying they won't go quick. I'd be able to do the red a bit higher, but it's whether or not I feel comfortable going. Yeah, you will. It'll be better than you are now. Yeah. Because it, the, the bike would have been broken in, wouldn't it? It's had its yeah. first service, so. So everyone knows I'm taking the bike in, uh, Jesse's bike in, the 125, taking it in on the 19th um, to Speedway Motorcycles. It's going to have its first service, which is oil filter, air filter, and they're going to put a new plug in it. Straight on, bro. Yeah, straight on. Um, they're going to put a new plug in it and move the chain, adjust the chain, uh, check all the nuts and bolts all uh, tightened up to the right torque settings. So on. Once that's done, once that's done, then they'll be, um, she'll be able to open the bike up a little bit more. Because what happens when they first run a bike in is you have tiny little shards of metal that rub, run off the, rub off the, the cylinder and the piston rings, all kinds of little fragments of metal. Well, if you keep those in the bike for too long, they become abrasive. So the first oil change Critical. Get get all that bits of metal out. Have your fresh oil in, and then you can start to open her up and explore it. And those one two boys, they can do seventy miles an hour, so you can get up to you know quite decent speeds and start utilising the bike a bit more and exploring more of the countryside, uh, enjoying it more, and uh, again your confidence levels up, ready for your mod one and your mod two. Hopefully that will be the catalyst to achieving your mod one. And then uh, you can you can think about your mod too, uh, whilst practicing alongside. I do think it's important that you practice good practice throughout. So get in the habit of doing your, your lifesavers, your, your double checks, etc. So it becomes second nature. Yeah. Um, inevitably, at some points it will probably just drop off, um, and you won't do as much. But when you pass your test, you're going to pass by a margin. You want that that margin to be as wide as possible. The minute you start making little mistakes and missing things out, the margin becomes smaller and smaller until you start going into the rounds of fail, yeah. which uh, is something we don't want to explore. No. So we're in Alchurch now, on the road ahead. It's uh, it's been a long time since I've been here, so you'll have to bear with me. It's nowhere near half four yet. Oh, I know. We're going to go, okay. th we're going to drive through it. Okay. Uh, do like a reconnaissance. And, okay. um, basically ride and explore. Cool. Um, when you take the bike to Speedway, yeah. are you going to record the new, um, what's it called? The new showroom is what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, they've got a new showroom, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, be, I'll be filming the whole thing, so I'll, yeah. I'll go it's through it all the way there. And then, if I can, I'll, I'll walk around the showroom if it happens for me to show it. Yeah, so I'm sure everyone I will. Can have a look at the, uh, the new show, showroom. I'm sure I'll be eager to show it off. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So, I'm looking out for the chip shop. We're going to just drive through at the moment. So, there's a nice Indian restaurant. Okay. So, oh, there we go. So, this is the chip shop here on your left. Tuna Rose Fish Bar. That's where we're going to come back to. I can see it, if I'm honest. Oh, we're done, yeah. Um, there's a bench there, so we can sit down with the chips there. And there's also the Dish, dish Lad. That's a nice Indian restaurant. Um, Bliss Hair Therapy. I don't need to go there. But, yeah, there's a uh, nice chip shop there. Cool. So we've got 25 minutes before the chip shop opens. So go straight on here. Yeah. Oh, wait, this car is just driving. Bike is off. I'm really concentrating on what he's doing. <laughs> Oh, 
yeah, I think it'd be quite good to see the new um, Speedway motorcycle showroom. Yeah. They don't have big bikes, do they? No, but it's all one too bad. No, but I'm sure they had three tens, didn't they? Uh, they may have done in another section. Because they're starting to, the Chinese are starting to make more uh, adventure bikes and larger bikes, so yeah. at a budget price. I think the Speedway's motorcycle is meant for one two five, so it's meant for an entry to beginners and stuff. So, I'll be interested to know what your um your partex will be for that. Uh, It'll probably be better to sell it privately, to be honest. I mean, yeah. you say they're discontinuing the black anyway. Oh, well. Yeah, I think so. Sure, you said they're discontinuing the black. Yeah. So that'll be good because that'll, oh, that'll give it some extra um. Value. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they are either. I think no uh, well, straight on. Sorry. Oh, it's a school. Uh, you don't know what? Sorry. I don't know if the red is continuing the black. I can't remember that. I think that might have been on the sinister round that you're thinking of. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, we've got priority here, so that's good. You drive up. I did thank him. Oh no, that's all. Go left towards Barn Green. Oh. I wonder if they'll wash the bike. Pardon? I wonder if they'll wash the bike when it has its service. I might wash it on Monday. Oh yeah. I didn't do some practice on Monday. Well, depends what the weather's doing on Monday, the following Monday. Well, depends what the weather's doing on the 19th as well. It could be. It's yeah. rain, in which case. In which case, it's going to get even, it's um, going to get muddy again, eh? Yeah. Oh, it would be nice to get it started, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I hope they've gone out and free so I won't get stuck. Yeah. Quite a nice area though, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Looks like money around here. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. I'm glad I'm not the scariest thing on the road for a change. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that is nice, that book. So. This is the famous Licky Hills. Have you heard of the Licky Hills? I have heard of the Licky Hills. I've never been to the Licky Hills. I know Kirsty and Andrew and Lou have been to the Licky Hills, but oh. I haven't. The Licky Hills is on your left. Oh, very nice. When we was younger, mum and dad take us to the Licky Hills. Oh, that's nice. And, and this might sound like child abuse, but sometimes in the <laughs> middle of the night, they would just take us out walking at one o'clock in the morning, go for a walk, and I'd wake up on my dad's shoulders <laughs> with Nipper the dog running next to us. Oh, going on an adventure. You're going on an adventure, yeah. You're walking through the big hills. <laughs> and this one, this one day, or well, one night, should I say, mm. we was walking across the big hills, and they, the dog had run ahead, as dogs do. Yeah. And uh, the dog came crying back. Yeah. And, um, I was curious then to see what it, what it was all about. And he yeah. uh, went over to have a look what the dog would run back from. And just over the ridge, yeah. you see a, uh, must have been some kind of pagan oh. um, ritual. Ritual. I don't know, witches all standing in a circle, chanting and stuff uh, in, the, in the middle of the night. Yeah, you don't want to. Oh, well, dodgy. Yeah, not dodgy. It's just um, religion, isn't it? But yeah, you don't want to interrupt them when they're. Halfway through chanting, what mood? Oh, I, no, I just didn't want to be cursed or whatever. I wouldn't have cursed. Well, you don't know. I wouldn't have cursed. You don't know. That's well, quite nice, isn't it? The gills to the left. Yeah, beautiful. Fine, even now I'd feel comfortable walking through there at one o'clock in the morning, but. No. Is that old Land Rover? Yeah, that's one for you, Mark, that is. Or is it yeah. a series, I'd say, series three or a series two, I. Not sure. It's a 109. Oh. 
Or is it a Series 2A or is it Series 3? I'm going for Series 3 because of the single screen. I'm sure Mark will be able to let us know. Okay, we'll keep Licky Hill's on the left hand side, so we're going to go left left at the roundabout. Cool. The woods, bronze grows. Um, and I want you to follow the signs to Licky Hill Golf Course. For the golf course? Yeah, that. Licky Hill's Golf Course. Okay. Strange old building, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I think the Hills Golf Course is up here on the right. I have got a 50-50 chance of getting this right. <laughs> right, the um, Fireman Centre. Yeah. A yeah. uh, coffee shop here, a uh, hotel. No. Uh, oh, you've just passed it. It's on the Hills Golf Course. Uh, uh, anyway. Slow down and turn left. Can you turn left here? I don't know. I've gone past it. Okay. Okay, so carry straight on then and we'll turn around so you can get to a side road on the right. On the right or on the left? Uh, so we want to go left. Well, we want to go back the way we just come. Oh, do we? Yes, turn right when there's a road. There you go. It's probably the easiest way. Private road, no right. That's all right, go, 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 go. All you're looking to do is turn around. Get to a space where you can turn around. There's a little bit of a driveway up there. Oh. It'll open up. Oh. Yeah, it'll open up. There'll be a, uh, I'd imagine there'll be a turning circle or something. Well, it's nice up here, isn't it? It is, yeah. I think there's going to be a turning circle there. There's a road up there called Twattling Road. Okay, we're going to turn around here. Yeah, keep that from me then. Oh, on the grass. Oh, well done. Oh. That's thank you. That's for me. Oh, <laughs> good enough. Right. You, you did better than me. I didn't do a U-turn. Right. Well, edit that part out of the video. Thank you. No, no way. Thanks, Okay. So, at the end of the road, at the end of the road, we're going to turn left. And then you will see some signs for us, um, Licky Hills Business Centre. Not yet. You'll see the signs for it. It's after the petrol station and it's after the Twattling Road. So I'm going to move over to the left a little bit to make it easier to turn. So it's not as no, easy. I'm there. I'm already in it. Well, good. You did well. <sighs> and just drive slowly because I'm not sure how fast the car's going to come round here. We're going to go down to the visitor centre and have a little butchers before fish and chips. Oh. Obviously late and everyone's on the way out. Yeah, that's what I was questioning what time. Oh, it's fine. Oh, what is this? Yeah. This is the car, car park, though. This is, yeah, it's keep, keep, keep going. And go round further. Yeah, just watch out for cars pulling out of this place. Yep. They don't always Thank look. You. Oh, literally round, round. Okay. <laughs> A bit off road. I'm gonna go in here. I'd, I'd face it upward. I'm going to. I'm in the wrong gear. Oh, come on, Troll. 
So this is a nice little random, random afternoon out. Just come to the Licky Hills. You haven't been here before, have you, Jess? No, I haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't. No, nice view. Yeah, it's good. You're quite high up here. I haven't been back here for years. One day we'll come back and have a good walk around. Ideally, as Jess said, get the chips and sit up here and have the chips, but I think they'll be cold by the time we got to the chip shop and then come back up again. Maybe a picnic one day. Yeah, you know. Hot box picnic. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice view. Shame that couple stood there because we could have got a really nice shot with that. Oh, uh, yeah. But never mind. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on the camera. We'll get to this point here and I'll see if I can get another an information board here. It's a clear day as well, so you can see quite far. Yeah. yeah. When we go um, down to Surrey on the bikes, we'll have to go up to um, Leak Hill where I used to go for my family reunions because you get some really amazing panoramic shots up there, up Leakfield Tower. Awesome. Yeah, we'll do that. Mm. It's hard to believe this, isn't it? You know, you've got this lovely countryside right on the, the, the outskirts of Birmingham. Yeah. He says Birmingham with a really brummy accent. Yeah. The top slicky geofax, there was a volcano not far from Barnt Green. I didn't know that. There you go. How long have you lived there? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was 485 million years ago. Yeah, uh, you off then. Magnetism locked into some of the rocks when they formed. Tell us that up until the Carboniferous, the area that is now Licky Lay to the south of the equator. Some of the pebbles around Licky have come from ancient rocks in northern France. Well, this is a bit of French, France. Mm. Oh, yeah. The Licky Quartz site started life on a sandy warm shoreline around 5,000 miles away in the southern hemisphere. And there are several old quarries in the Licky Hills because the hard, brittle quartz sites, I'm sure I'm not saying that correctly, made ideal aggregate for building projects such as Frankly Reservoir and local roads. Well, there you go. I didn't know there was a volcano near no. Barnt Green. Mm. There we go. Huh. Yeah, it's gorgeous views. Really nice. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll head back to the bikes and we'll, well, that tree looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, we'll head back to the bikes and then we'll go and have some chips. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, I've gone for... You just rock the chip. Pine chips. Yes. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Lovely. Wow. Uh, and we've gone to, I think I've probably showed this on the video before. Tudor Rose Fish Bar. The Tudor Rose Fish Bar, Alf Church, really nice. As I say, came here as a kid, loved it. And uh, I haven't been back here for many years. But now we're going to tuck into these. And it was um, a beautiful we'll head moment. I don't think there's any more pink left in that, but right. it was really bright. Uh, it's a lovely little village, this is Alf Church. If you get a chance, come out and have a look. Right, I'm going to tuck into my dinner. See you in a bit. Okay. Good. Right, you want to follow me or do you want me to follow you? Um, I, I don't mind leading. Right. I'll lead initially just to get us out of here because I'm in front of you. Okay. So out of here, left left. Yeah. Oh. I've got a down feeling, but... They uh, didn't speak past you. I know, I tried to speed up and stand up so they could see. <laughs> I was coming through. We're going straight on. Yeah, this is the second time, isn't it, that you've um, been riding at night? Yep. That was nice. I enjoyed those chips. Yeah, they were nice. Steak and kidney pie and chips. Very nice. You had haddock and chips. Yeah, nice. I'd go back there again. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, uh, quite impressed. Uh, not too far from home, only 15 minutes. Yep. Yeah, I've got a van that was right up my arse on the roundabout. Are well, you going to slow down? No, it's fine. And I'm going to veer to the left slightly, give an opportunity to overtake. I'm going to 40 along here, but I'll do 30. There you go. Left indicator still on. Was it the van that was behind you? Yeah. No. So you're going straight on at this one as well. Is that so? You can think of it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, second exit. Stay on this main road. I don't know if this is the right lane. Yeah, this lane. This lane is fine. Let the van go. I am. He's obviously in a rush. Uh. You'll see how your helmet lights light up on the camera now. Yeah. Uh, this exit. Uh huh. Excellent. All good. All good. A bit of a windy road. Nothing yeah. major. Quite enjoyable. Shame I'm looking. It's pointy up there. Yeah. Try to over this roundabout? Yes, yes. Ooh. Oh. Oh. It was a bit chunky, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, where am I going now? Right on. Second exit. Um, then we're coming up to the... What? Yeah. And I'm coming up to the hospital um, roundabout. What? Yeah. Which is where you... Got rear-ended almost last time. Yeah, well, you said someone <laughs> who ran into the back here, but I'm behind you now, so that's, yeah. that's not going to happen. Yeah. It's just how quick the person was coming out of the hospital. Well, it's also people anticipate that you're not going to stop here. Well, then we have to go down anyway and check, because the, the guy that came out of the hospital was going at some speed. So you had to suddenly stop? Yeah. I never know if that's classed as a mini roundabout or a roundabout. Yeah. 
doing down, indicate. Uh, so, you know you are now, we're going to turn right. Yeah. Do I need to give any more directions or you know? No, I think I'm good now. Thanks. Just look up now. No problem. See, not far away at all, is it? No. Although, Sunday Fish Bar is better in it than here. Yeah. But it's it nice is. to have a change of scenery in it, it's a little ride out in the bikes. Yeah. So you can go to the Lick Hills and do exactly what we did. Yeah. Here we are, back in Studley. Goodbye.